What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another The City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and welcome back to another video guide. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Divine Brothers Lafinia fight. And before we do start, like always, like and subscribe if you haven't already, because it does help this channel and I would really, really appreciate it. And now without further ado, let's start this video. Now, as always, we'll start this video off with how you are going to deal with the Lafinia Orb, which actually starts at Phase 2. There are going to be two phases in this fight. Uh, this does not disappear, and you get two Lafinia Orb counters when you delay the enemy by one turn, and 15 uh, Lafinia Orb counters when you delay them by three turns or more. Uh, characters that can do the delay are going to be Lightning, Garland, Tifa to a lesser extent. You've got obviously Cloud of Darkness, which is featured in this banner, and of course, Lail can do that as well. Alright, now let's talk about how the fight works. So let's start off with the first phase when you are fighting the small brother and the big brother. Now the bosses can delay and the small brother does have a recast ability that will do an AoE Bray plus HP attack. Now when one brother falls below 80% or 50% of their HP, they will both gain 60,000 Brave. So, um, there are some brave shaving things that you will need to do here. Now when both brothers fall below 70% or one of them falls below 20%, they will merge and become one. Now the small brother can also heal the bigger brother. Now as for phase 2, uh, there will be some guaranteed HP attacks and it actually gets worse if you do get broken. So try not to do Try not to get broken in this phase. Um, there's also a move that they do which they will remove the party's buff and will KO their target. And when they fall below 50% of their HP, basically they will trigger the following attacks. So the first turn they will do Fragment Plus, the turn 2 at a Mind Time Blast, and then turn 3 brotherly love divine now these attacks are actually really really strong and most likely will wipe your team especially the last one so um once you get to this point uh, i do believe you might see like a red aura or something along those lines i personally haven't seen it because i haven't gotten to that you know never got to that part because i just kept delaying so long story short, try not to get to this phase because yeah, it's gonna be a wipe for you. All right, now let's move on on how are you going to deal with this fight. Now, it's very simple this fight. Uh, first off, in the first phase, try to get both brothers down to less than 70%. You might see in this video that I didn't actually do that. I tried to just focus on one. I tried at first to like both of them to get them both at 70% and then the small brother ended up healing the big brother so I was like I'm just gonna concentrate on one and I wasn't really sure on what you know percentage of their HP actually will trigger the merge because I kind of you know I did do this in JP but I never really understood all the you know the fine mechanics of it um, not until I tried it here obviously in global and you know Eventually, I figure out you just need to get them both at 70%. And it will also work, like I said, mentioned earlier, when you get one of them to less than 20%. Now, max HP up, you know, those buffs that increase your overall max HP are really nice to soak up the damage. Now, obviously, if you have a tank with you, that is going to be great as well. Um, they can soak up a lot of those HP damage, which, you know, more or less it will be there but uh try i really really want to emphasize to just try and delay the boss once you get to phase two now phase one you can delay them here and there which actually uh you know is something that you want to do as well i personally didn't do it but if you can keep delaying them you will be able to you know get your brave gain because uh, something i didn't mention on the first phase was that the boss um, they have an aura that uh, prevents you from gaining like you know uh, brave from your abilities and stuff like that so yeah um, I didn't do that 
<laughs> but if you can delay them, I believe you delay them like three turns from memory. Uh, if you can do that, um, they will cancel this aura and then you will be able to gain brave. But, um, you know, once you're in phase two, I highly, highly recommend just delaying, delaying them as much as you can, even if you have to use all your abilities to delay. Um, yeah, they actually don't have too much HP once they merge. It's not too bad, at least in my personal experience. But uh, yeah, uh, try not to get to the point where, you know, they are doing the fragment plus and um, all the way up to the divine brotherly love. Now, as for characters that you want to bring, this just keeps adding up and adding up. Um, try not to add too much to this and it'll just be the whole list of um, characters. But as far as anything goes, as long as you avoid like earth damage, you should be fine in this case. Um, and bring some delayers, you know, they're really going to be very, very helpful. Um, and if you can bring two, that'll be uh, uh, awesome uh, as well. Now, for the cult characters though, it's kind of remaining the same at this point. There's really not a lot of other cult characters that I would really add. Um, they, these characters are probably like the best ones. I added Cloud here as well because of his ability to delay. Um, that's always nice to have, but you know, the others like the debuffs, you know, and the paralysis, always very, very helpful. Now, as for party compositions, of course, the first recommendation is going to be the team that I went with, which is Kor, Garland, and Porum, with a cold team of Iroha, Kurosame, and Cloud. Uh, I have Cloud of Darkness for my support, and Ramu for my summon. And you might notice, Munch, I thought you were going to go all out for uh, Cloud of Darkness. Well, at the time of the making of this video, I still haven't pulled. I just went ahead and did the Lavinia fight, so... Um, I didn't want to bother my wife once again. My, I left my headphones in the room and I didn't want to bother her in there. So uh, she was still sleeping. So I just left it. <laughs> However, for my second recommendation, obviously I have to add Cloud of Darkness. Cloud of Darkness is really, really good. And, you know, a support Cloud of Darkness is enough for you to be able to, you know, hopefully kill the uh, the bro divine brothers uh, once they are fused uh, but if you you really want to do some overkill cloud of darkness in your team put barts in there put palad and cecil in there and you should be fine um call team kurosami jack and amid's lion cloud of darkness again once for the support probably the best one out there for the support um garland is pretty dang okay as well if you do want uh, a different type of support or you couldn't find anyone who has a cloud of darkness support uh ramu again for the summon and finally the last team that i would recommend is going to be cloud of darkness once again and lail and parum uh with lail you'll you'll be able to launch and do a lot of damage with him uh cloud uh, cloud for the cold team, nearly cold him Cloud of Darkness. Um, cloud, and then Jack Kurosami, once again, probably my, like, very, very v common um, cold teams, you know. Uh, support, you got Cloud of Darkness once again. Again, you can put Garland here if you do prefer him, and then you got Ramu for the summon. All right, guys, so we're finally at the end of this video, and of course, I'll give you guys my final thoughts regarding the fight. First of all, the fight itself wasn't all that difficult, uh, personally. Um, and honestly, if you have a dedicated delayer, this shouldn't be an issue as well. This fight is basically built for you to delay and not let the boss have a turn and if you do let them have a turn then you have a problem uh, and you might want to tweak your composition or your team for uh, for the fight itself because honestly the boss 
uh, especially in phase two, shouldn't be getting any turns. In phase one, I can understand if they do get some turns here or there, and even if they use their recast ability, it's not game ending. You will be able to soak up those HP damage. But in phase two, once you get there, the fight actually gets so much easier since you are only delaying one boss. And that is the key. And that makes this fight so much easier because, you know, there, you're only, you only have to concentrate on one boss. And the uh, the Finya orb is basically telling you, you need to delay and you need to not make the boss have a turn. And that makes this fight probably one of the easy ones in Lufinia, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that is all for this video. Please do remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help this channel, and I would appreciate it as well if you share this video to a fellow DFO player who is struggling to beat some Lufinia difficulty fights. Hopefully, this video will help them, and among others of well, my videos will help them. Make sure to also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter at Munchkins Gaming and leave down in the comments below what your team was for this Lofinia fight. And if you did something different, let me know down in the comments below. And if you think I missed anything, leave them all down in the comments below as well. Uh, this is Munchkins logging off. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next level.